my name is john melvin fernandez lecturer at department of bsc in interior design and decoration milagres college mangalore so today's topic that is partition wall so we are going to discuss about partition wall the requirements of partition wall the advantages of partition wall and the different types of partition wall so firstly we'll uh, uh, talk about what is partition wall so partition wall is nothing but a non load bearing wall so it is a wall constructed uh, just for the uh, separation of the rooms so if you have a very big space and then you have to convert it into a very smaller uh, spaces so in that case the wall will be constructed inside your house so maybe uh, for the co uh, combining the living and uh, dining together so if you have a very big uh, living area so it can be uh, converted into two spaces so the where you can use this partition wall so it will not carry any uh, load to it so it will not support your structure of the building but it is it can be only used for the separating uh, purpose or uh, for the decorative purpose of your house this partition walls can be used so coming to the thickness of this partition wall so coming uh, the thickness of the partition wall will be depending upon the material so thickness depends upon the material which is used for the partition wall but the main purpose of this partition wall is to just to divide the rooms into different spaces okay so a partition wall is ideal when you want to divide an area of your home into separate rooms or spaces so different types of partition walls may vary in terms of durability the strength the aesthetic appearance also so you can use it uh, for the decorative purpose so some uh, right now uh, the partition walls which uh, is uh, very uh, uh, very much in use uh, at present so uh, where uh, we give a very big uh, living area and then we uh, separate that living area with the uh, providing it with the partition wall so that uh, we can use that other part for the dining as well and the one more part uh, for the living area as well okay so not only in your house so if you go to a, a commercial building uh, maybe for the banks or uh, some interior uh, office or any kind of office the civil uh, departmental office so whatever it is the partitions the partition wall is very much important so no one will uh, focus on the wall which is uh, constructed uh, uh, to carry the load on it so because the, it should be accessible uh, for uh, one uh, who is using it so in that case uh, this partition walls will be uh, created it can uh, separate uh, the uh, it can show the separation as well and uh, it can even uh, be uh, used uh, as a vice versa like uh, you can uh, uh, communicate with the uh, other person who is uh, sitting next to you also but the separation will also be there and uh, the communication will also not stop you can even communicate with the other person who is sitting next to uh, next to that uh, partition wall if it is uh, uh, at a particular uh, uh, height okay so that is uh, the purpose of the partition wall so next uh, coming to the requirements or requirements of the good partition wall so it should be thin light and rigid so it uh, if it is thin it will not uh, use uh, more uh, space so and if it is light also it can be even uh, now one more thing uh, if you talk about this partition wall there are a movable partition wall also and uh, there are a fixed partition wall so if it is a movable partition wall if it is and uh, the that movable partition wall if it is very thick and it will be very difficult to move also uh, somewhere else so uh, the requirements uh, of that uh, movable partition wall should be very thin and it should be light also so that it is it can be easily detachable also it should be sound proof so when you talk about a partition walls uh, maybe uh, for a office or a bank sector uh, we uh, provide the partition walls for the uh, manager uh, ca managerial cabins uh, or uh, some assistant cabins uh, so some co designers uh, when you talk about designing uh, uh, sectors uh, there are co designers uh, the md cabins so whatever it is the cabins uh, uh, whatever the discussion which is going on inside so that should not come out uh, of that uh, 
part so for that case it should be sound proofing as well and it should be even light proof also the whatever uh, inside the light should not come outside the outside light will uh, should not be uh, passed inside of that uh, partition okay it should provide adequate privacy also it should not be it should be easy to construct it should be economical so the construction ways also it should be easy it should have privacy it should be light proof it should be uh, sound proof as well it should be thin and light so that it can be uh, easily detachable and it can be moved to uh, other spaces also okay so that uh, that is those are the requirements of a good partition wall okay so next we move on to the advantages of the partition wall so what is this advantages of partition wall so it helps to divide one room into many rooms so it provides adequate privacy from sight and sound both okay so those are the advantages so it can uh, the main advantages that it will uh, help us to divide uh, the rooms and one uh, the other advantage that is uh, it will give even the privacy also it is sound proof also it is light proof also so uh, there are uh, lightweight materials uh, uh, of uh, which can be used for uh, the partition uh, walls uh, to make it very light it is easy and it is a cheap in your construction also so these are uh, some of the advantages of the partition wall okay so next we'll uh, move on to the types of partition wall for homes and offices so we uh, now we have uh, understood uh, what is partition wall what is the requirements of the partition wall what are the advantages of uh, partition wall now coming to the types of the partition walls which is used for the homes and the office so partition walls are vertical dividers which are used to separate the building into different uh, space the different uh, rooms okay so partition wall types and applications are discussed uh, here uh, in your following uh, uh, sections here now so there are different uh, types of uh, partitions uh, the different types of partition materials are there you can have a brick partition wall you can have a, uh, aluminium partition wall you can have glass partition walls uh, you can have timber partition uh, there are different materials which can be uh, listed down under this types of partition walls uh, you we can uh, even uh, create a partition uh, wall by ourselves the natural the sustainable uh, partition walls also we can uh, uh, create it okay so some of the partition walls which we have uh, uh, which we have to uh, know so those are uh, depending upon the material which is used it has been uh, divided into different types of partition wall so the first one that is brick partition wall then we have the clay brick partition wall and next one the third one that is glass partition wall the concrete partition wall the most uh, uh, used one also the plaster slab partition wall so this is very much uh, in use right now because since it is a very cheap in construction as well and the lightweight material also the metal lathe partition wall so if you want a very strong partition then you can go on with the metal lathe partition and the ac sheet or the gi sheet partition walls or the wood partition wall and the last one we have the timber partitions walls okay so apart from this there are different other types of part partition walls also you can list it down according to your use so according to the materials which is used the partition wall has been uh, listed here so the first one that is brick partitions so as you all know that uh, bricks we get it in the first class second class third class uh, uh, bricks so there are different classes of bricks there are three types of brick partition which will include the plain brick partitions the brick notching partitions and the reinforced brick partition wall so in your brick partition the main thing uh, we un we have to understand that the uh, uh, material which is going to be used that is brick so in that uh, uh, brick partitions also there are three categories now so there are brick wall uh, plain brick partitions where only the bricks uh, bricks are used there are reinforced brick partition the reinforcement of uh, some material it is done and the brick notching partition wall so that is uh, uh, the wooden frame uh, will be constructed and then the uh, bricks are the brick partition has been done to it okay 
the first one that is plain brick partition wall so it is constructed from plain bricks so it is common and cost effective only bricks have uh, been uh, used here so thickness of the brick partition is 10 cm or the half brick okay so bricks are laid as structures in the cement mortar so since it is a partition walls uh, so you can lay the bricks as a uh, structure bond in your structure bond with the uh, the facing uh, uh, structure that uh, will be as a structure itself okay so here only the plain bricks have been used so you can uh, use any kind of uh, bricks uh, first second third class any kind of uh, uh, bricks you can use it here but it should uh, uh, it should uh, be uh, it should have a good appearance also so it uh, i preferably uh, uh, ask you all to use the first class brick so which is having a pure uh, uh, edges also uh, where you don't have uh, the edges which is uh, broken down okay so recommended height is maximum 2 meter for the construction in a day so per in a day you can uh, construct a height of 2 meter so uh, 2 meter which will uh, uh, go up to so 1 meter which is 3.28 feet so if it is 2 meter then that uh, will uh, double the 3.28 will uh, uh, become uh, uh, 6.48 uh, 6.56 so like that uh, it will uh, go on so 6 at least uh, 6 and a half feet uh, 6 feet 6 inches uh, uh, wall you can construct in a day so it can it is plastered on both the sides it is strong fire resistant uh, if the brick wall is constructed properly okay so this is about the plain brick partition wall here only the bricks are used and in a day you can construct up to a height of 2 meter that is uh, uh, 6 and 6 feet 6 inches and it can be plastered on both the side and if you want a very uh, uh, brick appearance uh, the natural appearance then uh, it you it, it can be left as it is because you are not going to uh, give any kind of uh, superimposed loads on it so it can be left as it is for the decorative purpose so to give a rustic theme you can use it as it is for even for the natural kind of thing also theme also you can use it as it is so that is about the brick plain brick partition wall next along with that we have the reinforced brick partition wall so what is this reinforced brick partition wall it is nothing but the same as the brick partition wall only the reinforcement of that uh, mesh which is uh, given after uh, three or four cores of uh, bricks so after you uh, place uh, uh, three or uh, four layers of uh, bricks the iron mesh the wire mesh strips uh, which has been provided on the surface of that uh, bricks uh, the brick wall and then again uh, the three or four courses of the brick will be added upon that so this is uh, this kind of partition uh, are uh, stronger uh, much stronger when compared to the uh, plain brick partition wall because here the reinforcement of the iron mesh has been done so if you want a very stronger uh, uh, wall then you can go on with the reinforced brick partition wall so uh, again in this itself we have one more uh, uh, brick partition that is called as uh, uh, brick notching partition wall so what is this brick notching partition wall so brick notching partition wall consists of a uh, uh, framework so the, this framework will be done of a wooden member so you if you look at the picture or uh, picture itself you can understand that there are uh, horizontal uh, members there are uh, vertical members uh, and uh, used there the wooden vertical members and wooden horizontal members which is used there and they have uh, uh, constructed uh, a frame and uh, inside that frame this brick partition has been done okay so the timber the brick notching partition wall consists of a brick work built within the framework or of the wooden members okay so the timber framework consists of a vertical post the studs horizontal members which is called as the uh, notching the cell and the head as explained here okay so studs paced at 60 centimeter to 150 centimeter and held in the position by notching pieces 
okay so the notching pieces are nothing but the uh, timber frames which is being used there okay so if you look at this uh, picture you can understand that the brick notching so uh, frame has been constructed and then uh, the wooden framework has been done and inside that in between the uh, spaces the empty spaces uh, the uh, bricks are uh, uh, laid okay so the brick work is plastered from both the side okay so once you construct this uh, brick partition it is plastered on both the side so this is about the first uh, type of uh, partition wall that is brick partition wall where we had uh, three kind of partition that is the uh, plain brick partition the reinforced brick partition and the brick notching partition wall the second one the clay brick partition wall so what is this clay brick partition wall so the blocks which are used for clay brick partition wall is manufactured from clay or terracotta okay so here it is also a brick which is manufactured from clay or terracotta terracotta is nothing but a earthen material so blocks may be hollow or solid so it is the same as your brick wall partition so plain brick partition and the hollow brick or the clay brick partition means the same only the material which is used here that is different okay so in your uh, brick partitions the it is a solid brick which is used Uh, there and in your clay brick partition uh, or the hollow brick uh, partition the blocks which are used for the clay brick partition wall it is manufactured by the clay or the terracotta and it is uh, uh, it can be a hollow block or a, it can be a solid block it is the similar to the plain brick partition wall same kind of uh, uh, objectives it is also having that is it is strong fire resistant and good heat and sound insulating system okay so that is about the clay brick partition wall so if you look at this picture uh, the hollow blocks have been uh, used here the sizes of the hollow blocks differ with the texture of the material the thickness of this type of partition wall varies between 6 cm to 15 cm okay so the hollow brick partition walls are constructed in similar manner as the structural load bearing walls so grooves are provided on top bottom and sides of the block to improve the bond between the block and the plaster so to improve the bond between the uh, block and the block which is the material there and the plaster plaster uh, is nothing but uh, the cement uh, plaster which is used there okay so that is about the clay brick partition wall so next we move on to the glass partition wall so glass partition wall so sometimes it can be a cheap and uh, some some in some cases it can be a uh, very expensive also so glass partition in combination with the aluminium frames or the wooden frames if you use it along with that then it can be uh, uh, cheap and uh, only when you are using just the glass uh, of which is of a uh, very uh, uh, greater uh, thickness maybe of uh, 9 mm glass or 12 mm glass which we uh, use it on the glass partition wall so the glass is only expensive as well as uh, the uh, fish bottom and the uh, fish top which is uh, used there so that is also going to be uh, expensive than the uh, other uh, partition so it can be light uh, sometimes and it can be uh, expen uh, in uh, very heavier also if you talk about just uh, the glass uh, partition which is uh, in the picture here uh, so that is going to be a very heavy or uh, uh, it is going to be heavy uh, glass partition also here also when you talk about glass partition it can be uh, used along with the framed one and it can be uh, uh, the glass blocks we get a glass blocks which is then uh, uh, laid uh, upon each other uh, by means of the cement or the gluing substance so glass sheet partition wall so it is constructed by fixing sheet of glass in a wooden framework okay so here uh, wooden framework or uh, the um, 
metal framework also can be used so that depends on the creativeness which we get it uh, outside okay so it can be fixed even for the uh, aluminium uh, frameworks also just the glass will be fixed by the help of the beadings so if it is a wooden uh, framework done then the wooden uh, uh, beadings can be used if it is a uh, aluminium framework has been done then the aluminium uh, uh, beadings also uh, can be used so the wooden framework consists of a number of horizontal and the vertical post okay so the panels might be rectangular uh, square the uh, triangular so you can uh, uh, construct your frame according to the shape uh, which is uh, uh, needed for you all so it can be uh, even uh, circular shape also so that depends on the uh, mood of the client okay so the mood of the designer as well so glass sheet partition wall is light vermin proof the damp proof and the sound proof also so wired glass bullet proof glass and the three ply glass are the example of the strong glass sheets which is uh, suitable for the glass sheet partition wall so next we have the hollow glass block partition wall so as i have said the, the glass partition can be uh, done uh, two ways either you can construct a glass block partition wall the same as how you construct the brick partition wall the same way the glass will be placed one about the uh, other one upon the other and the cementing uh, cement mortar or the lime mortar which is been used okay so hollow glass blocks are translucent glass units which are light and manufactured with various thickness shapes and size okay so the here in the picture you can see only the square pieces of the glass blocks have been used so it is a hollow glass block the size of the square hollow blocks which is most widely used is 14 to 14 into 14 cm or 19 by 19 cm with a thickness of 10 cm okay so the joining edges are painted externally and sanded externally to help the bond between the mortar and the glass block so the front and the back sides are either decorated or left plain so this is about the glass brick the glass block plat partition wall and the glass sheet partition wall so next we uh, move on to the concrete partition wall so this can be a, uh, of a very uh, strongest uh, partition wall uh, uh, compared to the other uh, kind of partition wall this will be a uh, very strongest one uh, uh, i can tell you that it is constructed of the concrete slab so now when you talk about concrete partition wall so here also the concrete partition wall it is constructed on site also it can be uh, uh, constructed in some other uh, site and then it can be got in it can be pre cast or cast in site so cast in site concrete partition wall the thickness ranges from 80 mm to 100 mm so the thickness of the cast in site to concrete partition wall varies from 80 mm to 100 mm okay so it is poured monolithically with intermediate columns so it is rigid stable both in vertical and the horizontal directions so the reinforcement consists of mild steel bars so here uh, the concrete partition wall uh, when you construct a concrete partition wall the mild steel bars are also used to strengthen the partition block the partition wall okay so concrete uh, uh, mix which is uh, usually adopted that is uh, in the ratio that is 1 is to 2 is to uh, 3 you can go on with so next uh, that is a uh, precast concrete slab for the partition wall the wall is built from precast concrete slab units so precast unit thickness ranges from 25 mm to 40 mm okay so it is uh, a precast you have uh, you are constructing it uh, somewhere on the uh, on on your go down or the industry and then you are getting it to the uh, practice here so precast units are secured to precast post so joints shall be fixed with mortar the concrete mix that is m15 m15 so which is 1 is to 2 is to 4 
the concrete mix which has been used for the concrete partition wall so next we have the plaster slab partition wall so what is this part plaster slab partition wall so this is nothing but the uh, kind of uh, uh, gypsum boards which is uh, used for this uh, plaster uh, slab partition wall so it is uh, the same pop boards the gypsum boards uh, which is used here the frames uh, as we uh, has how the pop uh, plaster of paris work uh, is done for the ceiling the same way the frame work uh, the aluminium framework will be uh, constructed uh, on the floor and uh, supporting it uh, supporting that uh, a partition uh, to the walls uh, the frames to the walls and then it the frames will be screwed to the walls and the flooring as well and then upon that uh, frame this uh, uh, gypsum board of size uh, like uh, six feet by four feet uh, it is available so such kind of uh, plaster boards uh, are screwed to the frame later on okay and then it can be putty uh, putty finished and it can be painted also so unit of uh, plaster slab prepared in an iron or timber mold with size one to two mm long so 30 centimeter high and 50 to 100 centi 100 millimeter in the thickness so they are equipped with both suitable grooves to create rigid joints okay so as you can look at the picture you can if you look at the picture itself you can understand that it can be even uh, constructed uh, with the uh, the frame can be of uh, the timber as well as the aluminium or the iron uh, frame also can be used but mostly used the iron iron frames are used and then the sheets have been screwed screwed to the frames so such kind of partitions are called as the plaster slab partition so next we have the metal lathe partition wall so what is this metal lathe partition wall so metal lathe partition wall are the thin strong durable and considerable fire resistant so when you talk about the metal itself it is understood that it is fire resistance as well it is durable it will be strong since it is a metal it is going to be very strong and uh, so it is uh, so metal uh, coming to the now metal lathe partition wall so this metal lathe partition wall is constructed uh, by using the uh, metal lathe uh, the metal uh, frames and uh, even uh, the sheets can be applied upon that you can uh, apply the metal uh, sheets also can be applied uh, upon that or else it can be plastered on uh, plastered on both the sides of the metal also so sometimes uh, in uh, other uh, uh, cases uh, you can even uh, construct uh, the uh, wooden uh, sorry the bricks can, could be uh, placed in between these uh, channels and then uh, as the same as uh, the brick notching uh, partition you can uh, construct this metal lathe partition as well so metal lathe partition walls are constructed by placing 2 cm to 2.5 cm channels vertically which is called as the studs okay so plaster is applied to both the sides of the metal so that is about the metal metal lathe partition wall so next one we move on to the ac sheet or the gi sheet partition wall so what is uh, ac uh, sheet so that is uh, asbestos uh, cement sheet or the galvanized iron sheet is used here in this kind of partition walls which is uh, uh, fixed to the wooden or the steel frames so here uh, either the wooden frame or the steel frame will be constructed first and then uh, on the both the side this plain sheets uh, uh, maybe uh, the cement sheet or the iron sheet uh, the co uh, corrugated uh, sheet will be used in uh, on the side the slab consists of core or corrugated asbestos cement sheet with a plain asbestos cement sheet attached to it on the either side so if you look at the middle part of the uh, partition wall there uh, you can see the corrugated uh, sheet and then on the both uh, outer surface you have the plain sheet uh, the cement 
and then it is uh, uh, filled with the uh, it is attached with the cement motor so it is uh, it will also give you the uh, sound insulation property the heat insulating uh, property and it is fire resistant as uh, compared to the same like metal uh, lathe partition even this ac sheet or the gi sheet partition also are fire resistant okay so that is about the yeah. Next we have a wood wool partition wall. So what is this wood wool partition wall? So wood wool consists of a long tangled wood fibers. So uncompacted, coated and bounded together with the cement or the plaster with a rough open surface which provides an excellent key for the plaster. Okay, so here the wood wool which has been the left out part of the wood, uh, it is mixed with certain chemicals and then uh, it is uh, used here. So wooden wool, uh, wood wool which is, uh, it is called as a wood wool partition wall. So it is also a good uh, heat and uh, sound insulator. So this kind of a partition also can be used where you want uh, uh, heat insulating or the sound insulation. Uh, maybe in the theatres we need uh, the inside sound uh, as uh, should not come. Uh, it should not uh, uh, come outside the theatre. So in that case, uh, this uh, wood wool partition wall can be uh, created in such uh, uh, such walls. So next one, uh, the last one uh, is uh, we are having that is a timber partition wall. So this type of uh, uh, partition wall, here uh, when uh, when you talk about the timber partition wall, it is understood that uh, the main part, uh, the main thing, uh, the main material which uh, we are going to use that is the timber. So this type of partition wall that consists of wooden framework is either supported on the floor below or by the side wall. The frame consists of rigid arrangement of the timbers. So it is uh, given the vertical members and the horizontal members are arranged properly and the openings uh, for the doors and windows has been provided and then uh, you can uh, even uh, plaster uh, uh, it with the plaster boards or else uh, even uh, the glass could be used there but if you use glass then it uh, it is going to be a glass partition uh, the same as uh, well as the glass sheet partition as well okay so such partitions are not fire resistance and the timber forming the partition is likely to decay or eaten by uh, eaten away by the white ants because since the wood uh, if it is not properly uh, if it is not uh, uh, taken care uh, properly then it will uh, uh, result in the decaying of the uh, wood so it should be preserved properly it should be uh, polished varnished uh, so all this uh, kind of process uh, should be done so the use of timber partition wall is decreasing just uh, for the sake that it should be replaced every now and then okay so that is uh, about the different types of partition wall. Thank you.